Yeah, good morning and g'day mate. Welcome back to Dyson Sphere with me, Jenny, and of course, the wonderful Mr. Icarus. And today, today, we don't have much room. We don't have much room on black box number one, but we also don't have much left to automate. In fact, I'm pretty sure we're at the point where the only thing that we haven't done is the animator fuel rods. So that's obviously going to be today's project. Uh, we need to automate the anti matter fuel rods, which do require a couple of steps. Um, one, we're going to have to make annihilation constraint spheres. Two, we're going to have to take critical photons, which we did in the last episode, split them apart into both the anti matter and the hydrogen to then put them back together into an anti matter fuel rod. Yeah, yeah. On top of that, we're not making a massive build. Well,. We're not making a high throughput build. That's probably more accurate. Uh, we're only going to be aiming for five. Five antimatter fuel rods per second. Because, and this is the this is the real catch, because um, that's going to require 40 assemblers. Because uh, they have a very, very long crafting time. On top of that, the Annihilation Constraint Spheres, which we're also going to be doing as part of this build, also have a very, very long crafting time. And we need 33.2 three of those yeah yeah we we like nice even numbers so we're going to obviously start right here on the equator uh with uh the annihilation constraint spheres which don't well they, they sort of do need to go on the network uh the constraint spheres do get used to make artificial suns so we sort of need to put them in the network uh yeah uh but we're gonna start off with importing uh particle containers and a titanium alloy because we need both of those no it's not titanium alloy it is processes yes because you need to have a particle container and then make it smart to have it contain antimatter yes uh the other thing we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to import in critical photons now main reason we did critical photons the last episode is to do this particular build we're going to need a whole belt a whole belts worth of critical photons so 30 uh 30 critical photons per second to then where's that recipe mm, i can't look at that recipe i need to put down production uh one of them we're going to need to bring in uh, that recipe. I need to bring in a whole belt's worth of critical photons to then convert the whole belt into two belts. Two belts. One of hydrogen and one of uh, antimatter. Antimatter. That's the words I'm looking for. So that's going to be our plan. And right off the start, I think we're going to try and keep things nice and simple. We're going to go assembler, assembler. Uh, we're going to set these to be annihilation constraint spheres. They only have two ingredients. So we're going to run a belt out the middle. Uh, item number one. Uh, yeah, about that long, let's say. And item number two. And again, we're just going to make the belt about that long. It seems pretty easy enough. And then we're going to need 33.3 of these. So, actually, we should probably put in the output belts. Uh, lack of item. Well, that didn't last long. Uh, can I grab more belt, please? Thank you. Uh, actually, we're going to want to... Mm, mm. Okay, let's go input, input, output. Cool. Let's do a group of three. Let's come to the other side, do the exact same. Do, 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 do. Uh, if I grab that and rotate twice... No, it fails. Of course it fails. Because I didn't think about it beforehand when I was putting down the sorters. Uh, let's do three of those as well. Cut that belt off. Uh, that belt, that belt. And that belt. Yes. Okay. So then we should be able to blueprint by marking these belts. Uh, constraint spheres look like... Where are constraint spheres? Right there. Uh, which I can copy and paste and then mark that one as particle containers and then in theory we can copy paste drag and it's just easier to have too many than it is to have not enough so we need what was it 30 33.4 so we need 15 plus a few 
Uh, that's 15, uh, 16, 17, 18, 18 doubled, should be 36. Uh, do we need 36? No, we need 17. Okay, so where were we? We were counting from here. That's 15, 16, 17. That's the whole build. Uh, we're going to stop the whole build right there. God, I'm missing every belt. Uh, let's remove that and let's remove that. So that's step number one done. Step number one done, make some constraint spheres. That should give us uh, plenty of constraint spheres. And we have a little bit of overproduction, which means we should be able to stock up on constraint spheres to make uh, artificial suns. They do need 10 of them, but let's be honest, you don't go through artificial suns terribly quickly. Okay, next thing we're gonna need is gonna be production. We're gonna need some of these guys. Now, these guys do chew just a little bit of power. Uh, let's go with that tile, I think. Uh, we're gonna bring out critical photons. No, we need to go over one more tile, but we'll do that in a second. And then have... Uh, Okay, let's move you over a tile to start with. Let's change that to that type before I break something. Uh, have you do... Uh, what is the, what's the recipe? I can't remember what the recipe is called. Uh, it is mass... Mass energy storage, yes. Okay, uh, mass energy storage requires a lot of power to rip the energy storage medium of part yes okay so we're gonna go in for critical photon out for antimatter out for hydrogen it really doesn't matter what order we do these in because at the end of the day uh there's 89 things littered on the ground uh end of the day we need to make sure that these two belts are maintained and then merged back together anyway so we need to we can't have any losses it's probably what i'm trying to say okay i want a power pole there and a power pole there because these buildings are massive Consequently, uh, if you don't, um, if you don't set them up set to two, you generally can't get power poles to connect everything. I want that one, and then we did antimatter, and then we did hydrogen, so we should be able to delete those belts, and then uh, it should work if I copy from there to there, and then we go. Paste, paste. Okay, and we're going to need... I want to set 60 of these guys. No, it's 30. Okay, so that's... Two... No, oh, it is 60 of them. Okay, two, four, uh, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. No, surely it can't be that big. Okay, let's start with 10. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Okay, we've got 10. Our belt mark has thoroughly failed. Yep, yep, they thoroughly failed. And... Uh, no, it's only 30 of them. Okay. Alright, so let's do that again. With belt markers that actually work. Because I like the belt markers, okay? I like it more when I don't accidentally delete the wrong belt. Uh, there, there, I need to copy that and paste that back there. Because uh, I didn't mark this end of the belt. Okay, so we'll mark this end. We're going to do critical photons plus antimatter plus hydrogen plus turn off that warning uh remove that and that okay now we should be able to copy and paste come on there we go all right so where were we we were doing okay uh there to there all right so we needed that doesn't look right that really doesn't look right. We need an extra belt. Uh, an extra belt for the overlap. Okay, so now third time's the charm. Okay, so we have... Does that mean I want to do... Oh, let's build them first. We can fix them later. Okay, uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, so we have one too many, but I can, like I said, I can always... 
delete and rearrange things, which is probably what we're going to do. Okay, so you definitely don't need to be there. Uh, actually, ew. Okay, no. Let's, let's work on the next part of the build. Alright, next part of the build is going to be... Uh, I need 40 assemblers. Ouch. Alright, next part of the build is going to be the actual antimatter fuel rods. At the same time, I do want to bring the constraint spheres into this tower. I just need to bring them in. Okay, uh, we also need to... I don't need to bring the hydrogen... And what do we need to make any amount of fuel rods? We also need to bring in, uh, there we go. That's the item we wanted. And warpers, just a hundred, please. I'm not gonna turn you on just yet. Okay, so first things first, let's bring that belt in there and that belt in there. Okay, so that takes care of the constraint spheres. Uh, the hydrogen and the antimatter are already on the outside. Um, yes, they're already on the outside. Alright, we need to bring in... This is going to be a mess. Um, a lot of belts. A lot of belts in and a lot of belts out. Um, okay, let's build over here and make some assumptions. Uh, let's do them in set of three. So you're going to be making antimatter. Okay. And you are going to have access to critical photons, which are going to stop here. So you have two ingredients that are going to come down between each each set of towers. Because we need we need forty assemblers to make any matter. Okay, so we're going to have you be any matter. You are going to be hydrogen. Uh, so that makes two items nice and easy and also means I can put three assemblers on this side and we can do one of them, you know, one of them, one of them, one of them, and one of them, and it fills up all the nice little tiles perfectly, no gaps left over. Okay, but we still have to bring in Constraint Spheres plus Titanium Alloy. Um, to do that. Okay, let's make some three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so if we have ten plus ten, all right, uh, and then down this side, and a return, and down, we bring in constraint spheres it's not gonna work oh okay let's do a return belt then an input then an input then a return Okay, so what I'm thinking is we're going to do uh, fuel plus constraint sphere plus, uh, what was the other ingredient? Titanium alloy plus, once again, antimatter. And the reason we're going to do it this way is it means you can have output, you can have input, you can have uh, one of them input and then when I put the friend on the other side you can do input you can do input and you can do output which means I don't have three machines arguing over four belts which is but three machine two machines arguing over th three belts which once you do that they've got to be offset from one another which is just a pain in the butt which also means then we can do because you've already been fed with the items you need one belt there and one belt there which then become uh, that, that shot, that belt, and that belt. So that's another 10 machines. Uh, and that's, that's, I ran out of sorters. Uh, there to there. Let's go grab uh, 500 sorters and drag. That deal. Okay, 
So it still means that I'm short... I'm short Constraint Spheres and Titanium Alloy here and output. And the first thing we're going to do is we already have one of the ingredients. So we're going to drag that up. Uh, for sure. So then that becomes Constraint Spheres. That becomes Titanium Alloy. And obviously then that becomes the output. And once again... Oh crap. Access, I can't access that output belt. Okay, so you're going to have to go north. Uh, okay, uh, wrong button. Copy. Paste. Okay. So then in theory... Uh, belt work. I want input. Input. Drag those down. Another assembler there. We want to have input, input, and then we need to duplicate what we did on this side, which is taking the titanium alloy. Uh, one, two, three, up, and then bringing constraint spheres in, fuel out. So. Strength spheres get put there. Uh, that's titanium alloy, and that's fuel. Okay, so then we need a input, input, output, uh, drag, drop, and then that just leaves these guys, right? Yes, which needs. Input, input, output, and da -dum. Okay, so with that done, I need to copy everything. Yeah, paste it. Uh, remove everything. I did not mean to hold down shift. Okay. Uh, Paste this. Let's paste it. Actually, let's paste it here. Well, it would line up with that side. It would not quite line up with that side. Let's try let's try plugging some belts in. Okay, so let's pick up that tower and we'll pop you here to start with. So that's a constraint sphere in. That's easy. That's hydrogen in. That's easy. Uh, those come from a build over here. Which we're just going to assume that maybe the belt goes up and over. I don't know. We'll, we'll get there. Uh, that's a fuel. That's a fuel. Uh, those belts come up and over. You need to have... Titanium. You need to have a fuel return. Yeah. You need to have... Two uh, constraint spheres. Please line up. And then that's a fuel return. So the only thing we have to do is convince autosave to complete. The only thing I have to do is I have to get these two belts in here and these two belts in here. So these are a straight shoot. These are off by a tile. But, 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 he says. I do have a spare tile down here right in the middle. So if I move particle containers to this belt in the middle uh, and then promptly remove basically everything. There we go. Uh, okay. 
particle containers there. Uh, copy. No, that failed. Copy. Paste. 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 Uh, paste. Paste. Alright, so if we do that, and then I add the sorter there, put that one there, give you your sorter and your sorter with your output, which yeah, should have markers on it all over the place, but we'll leave that for Lady Jenny to sort out. Have you output to there, drag that one, it's the 15, 16, 17, which gives us 34 of them total. Uh, drag that one all the way down as well. Grab that marker, and we need a marker there, a marker there, 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 and there. Uh, this also needs belts. There to there, plus there to there. Again, same story. Copy, paste, 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 and paste. Uh, copy that one. Paste that there, 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 and there. All right, and just to double check, we have. Click there, drag, hit the tab, the right amount of buttons. So we only have 14. So the last one is going to come here no matter what. So I need to... I don't know whether I can get away with this power-wise. Can I put a power pod there and you'd be happy? Okay, so power pod there. Let's put you on the other side. So that ends the critical photon belt. Uh... It's the silly little things. So what I want to do is I want to lift this belt up and over. Uh, actually, you can probably lift. Yes. Do I have a hope on the other side? No have to build the other side differently. Uh, okay, so you're going to come up to there, back one tile, down to there. Yep, that is the hydrogen belt. And then you're going to be the antimatter belt. So those two are lined up beautifully. Uh, Alright, so then we need to build the other side of this build. So this is going to be... Uh, well, according to my markers, hydrogen and then antimatter. Uh, we need belt one, belt two, belt three. Okay. So, I know, I need to, I want to put the markers in. Okay, so we need to bring in from there to there, there to there. Then bring in critical photons, uh, number three. Uh, need to bring the belts to there, to there, and to there. And what is it? Hydrogen on the left? Okay, so we need hydrogen on the left, uh, which is now on our right. Any matter, and then critical photons. Place that there, put a power pole there. Grab one of those, rotate it twice, pop it here without sorters, because I need to make sure that that's the output for hydrogen, that's the output for antimatter, that's the input. Drag that one to the left, which is also going to need a power pole there, and then we should be able to rotate the camera around so I can actually see when I copy and paste things. Uh, copy from there to there. Yep, that's the copy. Okay, so we need to hit minus, drag that out. It's not going to get to the end. I have to place the last one manually. That should line up with everything. Uh, 
last one put in man oh god that's tight that's tight that's super tight uh did i do that wrong no okay so then hydrogen belt comes up uh and down that's a tight belt okay uh anti-banner comes up and down Is that the whole build? Have I boo-booed anything? Is anything missing? Okay, the only things that are missing is that tower is further away than it needs to be. So, we want to remove that. Remove that. Uh, do we remove things? So I slide the build up. I think it's actually going to be easier to slide the build up. He realizes after he started deleting these. Fuel rods can go there. Uh, and titanium alloy can go there. Okay, so it should be a case of remove. Don't remove belts. Yes. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Alright, so step number one. You can go as far as that way. Uh, step number two is change the weapon back. Uh, because if you use the wrong decon weapon, uh, bad things happen. Okay. So, we now need ten. Uh, no, three, six, nine, ten. Uh, ten. Ten. And ten. Which now means belts back on. That, 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 and that will disappear. Uh, that goes into that one. Yep. Uh, that, 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 and that will disappear. That goes to there. That goes away. That goes away. And that all goes away. Okay. So in theory, this is our final build. Uh, now, what are we missing? We're missing power down the middle. We're missing requests. So let's turn on that, that, that. Warpers, 100 plays, local demand, remote, so, no, 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 remote supply. Uh, local demand, remote demand, local demand, well, all the demands, small demands, yep, every demand. Hit a power pole there. Uh, actually, can I remove that? I'll put a power pole right the way out here. That way I have less chance of accidentally blueprinting it in the final blueprint, because I've had to go through and fix a few of those, because I boo-booed. Alright, so that's the requests coming in. At the same time, you do have you do have power. Okay, so you already have power. So I just need to hit power for these sorters in the middle, which is a power pole there. And then a power pole like here. And then one like there and one like there. That's not too bad at all. Okay, so that's these guys. Oh, it helps if you actually import those. Let's, let's just use that belt and that belt. I sort of prefer that. Uh, pick up the constraint spheres that I have, dump them in there. We want to go local demand, remote demand. We want to max that, min that, max that. Set up local demand, remote storage. Throw ships in there, ships in there. Uh, power. So, uh, obviously, first power pole goes in there because that's a really cute little neat spot to put it. Uh, you're an extra belt, and you're an extra two belt. Uh, power pole. So where's that? That's there. Then here and here. Uh, here and here. There and there. Okay. It was not nearly as painful as I thought. All right. So what's happening is we are making constraint spheres, making plenty of constraint spheres. 
they're hurtling down here and they're going into this tower. Now, the catch is, the constraint spheres, even though it's built to ratio, uh, along with the antimatter and, 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 and the hydrogen, everything is built to ratio. <sighs> Until each one of these has a buffer of five. And our, our slight, slight, ever so slight overproduction actually fills up every single buffer to, to the extra five and then backfills all the belts. We're not going to have any constraints for this. So, what we're going to do is we have the room. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. Short by top. Uh, there. Yeah, we're going to add two extra on there and two extra on there. It's well and truly over what we need, need to run everything. Uh, but at the end of the day, it means we will back up with constraint spheres faster. Which is sort of the goal, because until you have the constraint spheres running, which don't forget, like, we have this belt of constraint spheres. That's already full, okay? That's almost backed up, all right? Uh, when that backs up, that's great, because it means the rest of them are going to be forced out this belt. But this belt needs to make it all the way down here, uh, buffer both sets, okay? Then around the corner, then all the way up here before we're good to go which is gonna take a minute or two actually it's probably not gonna take all that long because here they come well actually then it's got a backfill and back buffer that whole belt before we actually have any available in here so it's gonna take a minute it's gonna take a minute or two but this i have to say is a very neat a very shiny a very wonderful little build that's gonna do five antimatter fuel rods per second uh, and if we knock down one of those, uh, you have how much fuel? 7.2 gigajoules, and you, you make 720 megawatts, so pretty sure each fuel rod lasts, I want to say 100 seconds, but maybe it's 1,000 seconds. Um... You know what, funnily enough, I just went and looked up the wiki. The wiki doesn't even tell you. Um, it should be... So it's... Any anyway, fewer. Uh... Seven thousand two hundred divided by seventy-two. It should be a hundred seconds. A hundred seconds. Uh... Which means... I don't know, I was going to attempt to do the maths and work out how long or how many stars you could run off five of these per second. But, but actually, actually, let, 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 let's just look at my stats. My stats for the whole... Well, we're making, hang on, we're making five per second, which is uh, 300 per minute. Um, this planet, using uh, three gigawatts worth of power, is using 23 per minute. Uh, the whole galaxy is running six per second, five and a half per second. Yep, yep. So this little build here, which makes the constraint spheres on site from, uh, actually bless all. So we're bringing in two and a half, two and a half of the processes per second, two and a half of the particle containers per second, producing not a lot we're producing uh two and a half of the uh, annihilation constraint spheres per second passing through a tower which is still not backed up like it's 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 actually it's only what, a quarter of the way a quarter of the way it's gonna take a while it's gonna take a while uh but if i capped that for half a second it would back up real fast um what was i saying what was i saying yeah, it's making uh, two and a half of the constraint spheres per second, bringing them down here, converting two and a half constraint spheres per second into 
five uh, uh, anti matter fuel rods. The biggest catch is is the sheer amount of power to run this at full speed. To run this at full speed, I should say provides with that one. To run this at full speed, you need a whole belt of critical photons. A whole belt worth of critical photons is a lot of power out of the sun. Like, a lot of, lot of power. So, yes. Um, that's probably going to be your biggest constraint in actually getting this build up and running. Uh, you're probably not going to have enough critical photons to feed it at full power, uh, full, full strength. Full strength. Full strength. Not enough critical photons to feed this at full strength to then have the need or well, uh, have the, the throughput the throughput to make the any amount of fuel rods at full speed. Um, the constraint spheres are probably going to be easily vast, vastly easier to make uh, and therefore probably not going to be an issue getting the system to um, the system up and running and full of the constraint spheres before it can start producing any amount any amount of fuel rods at uh, the correct way because uh, the correct speed because you need I'd have to double check the mass you need uh, these guys uh, one point set out uh, 1.2 gigajoules so that's 30 36 gigajoules out of your Dyson sphere so I think like 40 gigawatts, 40 gigawatts out of your Dyson sphere to get enough to be able to pull in a whole belt, a whole belt of critical photons per second. Um, yeah, that, that that that's a lot of sales or a lot of um, small carrier rockets. Um, either way, I'm gonna uncap this because you know we might as well let it run, and I'm also gonna call it here for this episode because. I'm pretty sure that's our last big thing automated. Um, I can't think of anything else, which does mean next episode, go away. Next episode being episode 70, I think we're about ready to double science. Um, we're doing entire star cluster number three. We're doing about 30 items per second, but we have been going through and building science after science after science and um, well, you're out of quantum chips because I haven't done things to ratio because we are making enough quantum chips to feed this, but we're also stealing quantum chips to make you bad boys. Um, so we need to go through and double check a few ratios and a few other things, but we have like a whole galaxy to play with. Uh, so yeah, I think we're going to go turn on 60 science per second in the next episode. Um, we might also... I've never been out to a red giant. We might also go out and say hi to a red giant. But well, I only have one... One planet. That's a little bit boring. Uh, what about the other one? Also one planet. Okay. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do in the next episode. But I am definitely going to call it here. Um, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. And don't forget, I'm Jedi. Say hi to your mum for me. Alright. We're out. Bye.